Hi, in this video, I'll be talking about vitamin D, vitamin D in breast cancer. What is vitamin D? Why do we need it? Where can you get it? And then some additional considerations. Vitamin D is a naturally occurring vitamin that is responsible for and required for normal bone development. The way it works is actually not vitamin D in the bones, but it helps improve our absorption of calcium and phosphorus, both of which are necessary for bone development and bone strength. We actually make vitamin D through our skin when we're exposed to sunlight. So out in the sun, we convert the provitamin D to vitamin D, and that gives us normal levels of vitamin D. The problem is that as we get older, our skin is much less efficient at making vitamin D. So um, as we become less efficient, then we start to need supplementation through our diet or additional supplements that you can get over the counter or with a prescription. I'll give you a really vivid picture of this. If I go outside with my daughter, and she's six, she's not, but she's six, and I go outside, in 10 minutes she makes infinitely more vitamin D than I do, because with time we just do this less. The other thing that leads to vitamin D uh, being uh, blocked from being made is sunscreen. Now, we want to wear sunscreen because it reduces our risk of skin cancer and also the effects of premature aging on our skin, um, but it does decrease our ability to make vitamin D. So where can you get vitamin D in the food if you are in an area where there's less sunlight, for example, or you are older and you've just heard you're less efficient at making vitamin D through the skin? Well, salmon and tuna and sardines and oysters all have vitamin D in them. And then many of the foods that we buy now off the grocery store shelves are vitamin D supplemented. So you'll see your orange juice and you'll see your milk and you'll see other dairy products having vitamin D added to them. They don't naturally occur in uh, dairy products. Vitamin D is not naturally present in dairy products. The um, value of taking supplements depends on the likelihood that you're vitamin D deficient. People with more pigment in their skin have a harder time making vitamin D because the sun is blocked. And that's a very good thing for many reasons, but you will see that people who have more pigment in their skin actually have less vitamin D. Now, getting vitamin D levels checked at your doctor can be a little tricky because if you live in an area or have other risk factors for vitamin D deficiency, the assumption is you're deficient in vitamin D, just take vitamin D supplements. The only time one wouldn't want to do this is if somebody had kidney problems, you, it's harder for your body to get rid of extra vitamin D. And if you've been on vitamin D for a long time in high doses, you don't want to continue to take that without having your vitamin D level checked. Vitamin D is fat soluble, so we tend to keep it in our body. We store it in the fat of our body. It's not um, cleared by the kidney when we pee, like vitamin C and vitamin um, B. Vi B vitamins are water soluble, so we tend to pee those out. Vitamin D stays in the body. So once your vitamin D level gets to a normal level, you can probably stop your supplements. I know lots of patients where that happened. And people who continue to have vitamin D deficiency even after supplementation, it's possible that there's a reason for that, like malabsorption. And seeing a specialist, an endocrinologist, can help identify if there's a reason why you might not be able to get your vitamin D levels up with supplementation. The last thing I want to say is vitamin D supplements, the best ones are vitamin D3, but if you're vegan, you'll want to check the source of the vitamin D3. Vegan, uh, vegan uh, vitamin D3 is available. It's made by lichens instead of from sheep's wool. So just a, a tip if you happen to be vegan, and if you're vegetarian and you don't eat fish, then you'll probably want to have foods that are fortified with vitamin D. 
Thanks for watching. I know I covered a lot. I talked about vitamin D, what it is, how we get it, why it matters, a couple tips for the vegans who are watching. And, um, oh, I did want to say that we thought there was evidence that vitamin D supplements might help reduce the risk of breast cancer or reduce the risk of recurrence, and that hasn't panned out. So except for your bones, there's not a cancer-specific reason to take vitamin D supplementation. Thanks for watching. If it's been helpful, click like. If you want to see more of our videos, click subscribe. And as always, drop a note, a comment, a question, and we'll get back to you just as soon as we can.